Savabeel's left incredible horses right throughout his whole career. Savabeel in front, and it's a three-year-old's cup fight. He's 22 years old now, but I wish I wins probably looks like his best work. I wish I win over the top. I wish I win's going to absolutely pound them into the turf. And this horse has been far too good for them. Yes, the wah. He hasn't changed, ain't ya? Graham Rogerson, former trainer and looking after of Savabeel. He's still up there with the very best that I've ever trained. From the start of his career, he was always showed me that he was a good horse and what he's done is history. When we galloped him on the Tuesday before the Cox Plate, his track work was enormous. On that particular day, he was probably near to a good thing. Down the centre, from Starcraft, centre there, the leader. Just fell into place. He was too strong. He hit the line real good. Feels of Omar and Starcraft trying hard, but Somerville. He was worth a lot of money after that as a stallion. Mark Chittick was behind the scenes pushing his father, Gary, with Waikato Stud, and Gary negotiated the deal with the horse. The price I wanted was 10 million. Gary, within 48 hours of ringing me, the horse was sold to Waikato Stud. His stud career has just been phenomenal. You know, he's 135 stakes winners, 32 group one winners at this stage. His bell curve would be the 1,600 metres to 2,000 metres, but he's such a versatile stallion. He leaves them at all distances. He really is a legend of the New Zealand industry. You know, he's in great condition. Have a look at him. 14 seasons, average probably 150 times a year. Yeah, I'd be pretty proud of that. <laughs> So I Wish I Win sits as the highest stakes earner that Savabeel has ever left. With I Wish I Win, we've gone down the sprinting track and he's performing as one of the best sprinters in the world. I Wish I Win over the top, will look to be struggling but makes it easy at the end. I Wish I Win is out of the box. Considering his pedigree and considering Savabeel, it's pretty well a middle distance pedigree. I wish I win too good. With I wish I win, most people would look at him would think the chances of him making a racetrack were very slim. He was born with severe limb deformities. But we let him grow through those problems and sort of took our time with him. So then he went off to a trainer and, yeah, first start, one by three or four lengths. I wish I went with your wish came true. Two trials, two wins. From that day on, we knew we had a horse that not only had a will to live, but had a will to win. So when I wish I went arrived into the stable, no trouble, no vices, no problems. It was very straightforward to train and was a very kind horse to have around. When I left, I knew he was going to go to Australia. I don't think anybody could have expected the horse to do what he's done. Sort of pie in the sky stuff to win a Golden Eagle and a TJ and uh, be as dominant as he has been. But he was always a very slow maturing horse and he was always going to improve with a bit more time. The Everest is a great race, right? It's the high price of the calendar now. I wish I won his run great in the Mimsy first up. No doubt Peter and Catherine and their team will have him in, in tip top order for Everest Day. If this horse could win the Everest, what it would do for Zavabeel and even his ex-trainer, you know, it'd be just fabulous.